Good afternoon, ICC friends. It's your girl, Xaviera, and welcome to another live taping of the Ice Cream Combos podcast, where we serve delicious scoops of entertainment and celebrity news. So as you have seen, I have been teasing a very special guest who will be joining us today. Now, some of you may be familiar with this gentleman who is now starring in his own USA Network reality TV series. So without further ado, I am very, very super excited to welcome Reverend Richard Hartley to the Ice Cream Combos podcast. What's up, Rev? How are you? Good to be here. Thanks for having me. I am very excited to have you here. So thank you so much for joining us. So reality TV, The Rev. Thursday yes. nights, 10.30 p.m. So I started watching and I absolutely love the show. Great. So they I really, want to. They really like that. Though it's the family. They're a little crazy. Uh, yeah. It's them. But you know that's your DNA, right, Rev? I'm not sure. There's a test I'm waiting for. <laughs> Don't start, Rev. That's your DNA. <laughs> Don't start. That's your DNA. I got to check some of it because some days. Yeah. Yeah. So I want to talk to you like as a man of the cloth, like what made you decide reality TV? Because we see, you know, so many different facets of reality TV. Some of it can be, oh, Lord Jesus. And then some of it can be beautiful, like what you and your family are bringing to the USA Network. So just let me know what made you decide to take that reality TV plunge. Well, you know, actually, it came to me in a very organic and authentic method. I was at my church having choir rehearsal and I was throwing shoes and books because they can't sing. And if you don't sing on key in my choir rehearsal, there's going to be some income. You know what I'm saying? So missiles, yes. be, I'd be throwing stuff. And one of my musicians was there. He says, you are crazy. So he says, I got to film you and I got to film you at your house because you come to our house it's like a circus. I said, film me. So he brought his little Kodak over with a little camera he brought and he filmed me. I didn't even pay attention to it. I promise you I didn't. And I told it went that tape went to one person, went to another person, went to another person. It ended up in Hollywood at a production mm-hmm. company. And then they contacted me because they had four network offers, you know? And then wow. we ended up and we landed on USA. I did not pursue it. God did it. He sent it. I didn't um, audition. I didn't sleep on the purple couch. Yes. Or the- <laughs> yeah, the purple couch. <laughs> if it's me, it's going to be purple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't do any any of that. It just came straight organically. That's how it happened. Well, you know, that's very beautiful because you usually don't see it happen that organically. And that's probably why the show feels so organic. Now, yeah. you mentioned one thing about like with the cameras. Now, when your friend was, you know, filming you to kind of set things up, now that you actually have a full on crew, is it harder or easier to ignore the cameras? It's easy because I, you know, my house is full of a bunch of hams, a pork shoulder, and some ribs. They, they don't care. They're like, the, like I was talking, I'm talking to you now. My yes. stay at full grown son is over there making faces at me. He's doing this now. Let's see, no, it's, so, but he's not talking. He's just making faces, right? He's the one that doesn't talk. He says, when the mood is right, I talk. That's, That's that right, dude. when the mood is right. But and when so, he does, when he does, he has something to say. <laughs> they are ready for you when he does open up. My kid, they jump on me like that. They crack on me like that. It's all day, every day. That's what I guy said. I got to come when I come to your house. It's like a circus. So when the cameras came, it made yeah. it work. They really acted crazy. They should put the outtakes of this show on TV. I mean, that they do this great. Yeah, that would day. absolutely be great. So yeah. that's good to know because just based off of what you told me, having the cameras and being on reality TV, it hasn't disrupted the the mm-hmm. organic feel of the house at all. No. So let me tell you who my favorite person is in I know. the family. I know. And you don't have to really change it. I know it's me. But for broadcast <laughs> purposes, we have to give some other people a little juice to keep them engaged and make them feel, you know, warm. Absolutely, so, Rev. So that's just between you and I. I understand. Yes, so absolutely. Do what you do. Do what absolutely. You it is your daughter. It it's is crazy. your it is your daughter. The way you know it's so beautiful to watch because she is a full out daddy's girl. The way she says, daddy, daddy. And I just want you to, I just want to let you know from one mama to another, well, from one mama to a papa, them youngins ain't leaving your house. You know that, don't you? Oh, no, 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 no. That's false. <laughs> you are false. <laughs> you are false. Uh-uh. God, don't listen to that. Put them youngins your... not leaving. I got to talk to Jesus. Put on your beat. Don't listen to that. 
not they got yeah. they are not leaving they well are. they probably won't because my wife has made it a hotel yes yes she cleans cooks does the laundry combs their hair brushes their teeth flosses for them irons their underclothes what can i tell you and i eat tuna fish and you eat tuna fish if that's she, okay that's, that's all right what, that's all she can make is tuna fish and spaghetti and meatball Riff. Struggle is real. What? The Riff. struggle is real. That's what she can make. 365 days to the year. She but makes you look healthy. That's because I cook. Oh, okay. All right. All right. I'm listening. I could burn up some food. Yeah. I, I probably, yeah, you probably can. You, you can tell can. from watching that show, I have not missed a meal, even though I'm in pandemic pounds, but that's okay. Yes, the pandemic pounds. So let's talk about your fashion. Oh. Rev. Yes, ma'am. The, the fashions. You know. The the fashions. Now, yeah. you know, I know I grew up in church, you Did know. You? Yeah, I was in, I was in church every day that ended in Y. Oh, well, well, you know, I was one of those kids. But, you know, we we came to church sort of in a different way because my mother was a single mother. OK, and when she was young. She had a drug problem. Oh, okay, right? So okay. she found the Lord because she drug us to church on Monday. She drug us back there on Tuesday. She drug us back there. <laughs> you know, <laughs> and you had me all in my feelings for a moment. I should have known what I was dealing with. I should have known. Like, my, just because you have a drug problem, I don't. You don't have to drag me up in here every day. But yes. I was in church in Pampas with a microphone standing on the pew. Wow. So yeah. as a, a, a full-on alto, a proud oh. alto in the choir, Bless the Lord. you kind of gave me a little bit of PS, you know, PTSD because yeah. my godfather was the minister of music. Oh. Now, he didn't make us do push-ups and run around and carry on kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Now, now, Rev. But I'm now, telling you, that's real. I would make my choirs go to the track. You can't breathe. How can you sing if you can't breathe? Run. You're singing the song and running for my life. So now run. And we used to run track and do, I mean, when we was really young, like yeah. when we were 20s and 30s and 40s, you know, we older now. But I, I do things like that. And even now, you know, I, I the rehearsal could be in. That's how this show got started. Because I was in rehearsal freaking out. Wow. So mm -hmm. you have a, a long history in music. And yeah. I love that, you know, you guys kind of tap into that, into the show. Can we talk about your history of music and all I the great agree. acts that you have dealt, you know, you yeah. have worked with in the past? Now, I know you kind of make it a little bit about yourself a lot of times. Because, you know, when you ask I, who's the greatest singer that, you know, the family knows. <laughs> What type of question is that? It's either Luther or me. Luther's not here. So he, she said, fast and fear. Ty who? Yeah, I know. But Tyrese, you know, Tyrese does his thing now, Rev. She would be better if she said Donnie McClurkin. I mean, he's my friend. So I would have gave mm -hmm. him some props, even though he can't mess with me. Yeah, sometimes he fall down, but he get up. You know what I mean? No, he don't get up. He falls down. He doesn't get up. <laughs> Donnie, I ain't got up yet. He's still down there talking about speak to my heart. Rev, <laughs> I was not planning to be giggling all afternoon, but I knew you were going to cut up. I did know you were going to cut up. I at least was prepared for that. You know, um, I just want to just take a moment just to thank you for showing a beautiful black family on television, um, you know, because a lot of times, you know, representation matters. And mm -hmm. I love the fact that even though you are a family of God, you still show that there is, you can still be fun down to earth, ha you know. You don't have to. The I don't, Lord I said today, Jesus huh, and the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> you going to hell Thursday at three o'clock? Pack your bags. Yeah, I didn't, yeah. I thought that people could get a better sense of God through seeing our love for each other and yes. seeing community and realize that a believer, we're believers, not in a cult. You know, I don't wake up. I don't. I, I wake up and get eggs and cheese and bacon. I tell the Lord, right. thank you. But we're normal and people. Tuna. And then to see an African American family, you know, intact, yes. father and yes. mother, two grown kids that don't have no money, they don't pay no rent, think of my ATM, eat up all my food, and spend up all my life. But I wanted to mm -hmm. to show that, you know what I'm saying? We didn't yes. need any weed pulling and fighting. No. They got other shows that, you know, they do that. And I didn't want to do that because America needed another picture of normalcy. And I'm it. Now, let's talk about normal. <laughs> <laughs> Rev, let's let's tap into normal a little bit. But no, I, I, I do. I absolutely love it. And I absolutely enjoyed it. You know, um Yeah. Oh, you can get your fashions together now, Rev. Coach right. Okay. You, you got it. You want to dip it down a little bit on one side, give a little flavor to it. You look like no, that. You good. You good. You good. Okay. So for those for people who may not have seen the show, 
Mm-hmm. I want you to describe, and I already know where this is going, Who's but going? I would like you to describe the rev using three adjectives that don't necessarily directly refer to you, Rev. But okay, just gotcha. three ad- <laughs> three adjectives to describe this show for someone who may not have had the opportunity to watch it yet. Ready. Family, fun, and foolishness. Oh, I love it. I love it. That is perfect. Family, that fun, is, and foolishness. Yep. That is absolutely perfect. Before, I was going to say family, fun, foolishness, and faith. Oh, okay. I'm going to give you four because faith is very important. Yep. Faith is very important. Yeah, so, you know, I, I really hope and, you know, I'm just going to put this out in the atmosphere because I believe in, you know, speaking things into right. existence, you know. And Wait a minute, Hold on. Let me do that. My wife is going to know how to cook. She's going to know how to cook. She's going to know how to cook. I had to speak in the atmosphere and maybe I'll get something decent to eat tonight. Oh. Pop tarts. I got no pop tart ministry. All right. I'm sorry. What was you saying? So you said a pop tart ministry. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Okay, I was not ready for the Pop Tart Ministry. That is hilarious. Um, Rev, you yes. literally made me forget what I was going to say. You said a Pop Tart Ministry. She's slaving over the toaster at a Pop Tart Ministry. Honey, look what I did. That's the devil. So, as right. I was saying, I believe in speaking things into fruition. So I'm going to, along with you, because when two or more are gathered, right? And two or more agree. Did you see me quicken? Oh, I, I, I saw it now. I saw it now. I saw it. We are going to get a second season of The Rev. Yes, Lord. Because we need more of The Rev. We yeah. definitely need more of The Rev. So I just, I appreciate you just stopping by and taking a moment to talk to me about the show and, and to crack me up because I definitely needed that laugh. Thank you. I and, you know, I just again, I just appreciate just a beautiful representation. And I see a lot of myself because I have a older son and an mm-hmm. older daughter. But then I also have a little mama. She's 12. But in your two oldest, I see my two oldest. Luckily, I was able to get them out the house now. I was you got to tell me, what did you do? Was it a, was it a great <sighs> trail of money? How did you get them out? What did you do? See, what had happened was, Red, what happened was, they decided they were sick of me. Oh. But you see, that won't work with me because I, they love me too much. Yeah. They don't believe nothing I say. And I clown around like this all day. Like, it's snowing crazy in New York. I mean, yes. I just saw the devil go down the street with some Ugg boots on. <laughs> you know what we call Ugg boots, Rev? What? We call Ugg boots um, Timberlands with no bones in them. <laughs> Boneless Timberlands. <laughs> boneless Timbs. So next time you see somebody in Uggs, they got on some boneless Timberlands. And they know I'm cooking lamb stew. So they're not going nowhere. Well, see, that's your fault. It is. So we maybe we need to have an intervention with you. You know what well, I mean? Because I'm, I'm, sometimes parenting can go too right. That's it true. Can go too right. You know what I mean? Would, you know, you said something. I yeah. went too right. I'm going to let my wife take over. Let her expand her pop pop ministry and see what God does from that. But she has so but she got to pull back off of doing that laundry. She got to pull back, a, you know, she got to pull back on a few things now. She got to make it uncomfortable. See, I mm. made it uncomfortable. They got sick of me and they left. Yeah, that's the spirit. God was leading you in the right way. My wife, she's she's anti. She's rebellious. She's not walking in the divine order of the Lord. She's walking in her own order. I'm going to have to do something about that. Mm. Y'all pray. Yeah, you know, the Lord is ordering those steps. So don't don't get in the mix. Of, don't, don't. Order those steps right out my door. <laughs> God, you see the front door. Hold on a minute. Excuse me. You know what the front door is, man. Get those kids out of here. They don't need to bring in any money. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, it just is what it is, Rev. I'm so sorry to hear that. But they are technically, I'm going to cape for your kids before I let you go. Technically, because they are a part of this reality TV series, they are earning their keep. Look at my face. They are earning their keep, Rev. Now, that- no, they better pray for six, seven seasons because if not, this their last season in this house. Okay. And then I'm gonna have a new reality show. I free now. I free. <laughs> Rev, thank you so much. You you know what? You are just so so much fun. You are so much fun. You know what I would like to invite you to do? Yes. Maybe one day when you are free and your schedule permits, 
you come in and join a full episode and be our third co-host. Oh, I'm going to do it. I'm okay. going to bring my daughter with me. I'm okay. Gonna... Yes, I would And love bring it. Jordan too. He could just look. He could just look. You know, okay. people have, you know how people have the Holy Ghost? Mm -hmm. That just, it doesn't say anything, just moves. Yeah. That's how he is. He's like our holy house guest. He's like our house ghost. We only see him when it's time to eat. Well, who's you cooking when he shows up? If I cook. <laughs> Now we're not gonna do Mrs. Hartley like that. Okay? No, but when she cooks, the sheriff show up. Man, you under <laughs> you're under arrest for cruelty to animals. You're under arrest because she cooked some chicken, and the chicken looked at me and said, "I tried." Rev. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm getting. I'm behaving. That's it. You are cutting up so terribly. I just want to uh, congratulate you on the success you. of the show. You know, you. my my audience loves it. I yeah. love it. And we are going to speak that second season into existence. Absolutely. I believe it. I, I touch and agree with you. Absolutely. And I appreciate you stopping by today to talk to the ICC friends about the show. So The Rev. Every Thursday night, 1030 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Right. And we get to see the Rev cut up with the choir, cut up with the family, cut up with the fashions. And tonight when cutting up. I don't even know what the episode is, but I'm cutting up. You cutting up. One thing you can count on is for the Rev to cut up. This is what it is. Y'all pray. Can count on. I'm not changing. <laughs> Hold on his unchanging hands. <laughs> if, if God tried to change me, I'd be like this. No. <laughs> Well, I definitely thank you for stopping by. And you have a wonderful day, Rev. And um, you know what? Matter of fact, close out this here interview with a quick little prayer. That's what we God, can do. We thank you for who you are and for all the things you've done. God, we ask you that you bless my wonderful sister, bless her ministry and expand her territory, keep her safe and bless her family and everyone that she comes in contact with. God, we ask that you bless this program, that the message that you want to deliver to this nation is well received. All these blessings we ask in the name of your son, Jesus, and it is so. And amen. Amen. That was absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much, Ray. Well, well, excellent. And God help my wife with some recipes. You can do anything, Jesus. You said come to it, a table is spread. But this table I'm sitting at don't have none but pop tarts. God, what you doing? Oh, I'm sorry. Was that extra? <laughs> <laughs> Are those pop tarts blessed? No. Okay. Trust. Me. Okay, that's it. I'm 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 gonna be here. <laughs> Say, Thank you so yeah. much, Rev. I want to say this name perfect. One sure, more time. sure, sure. Say Try. your name. Zaviera. Za. That's how you got to get it. Can't get, can't get Z stuck Yeah, that. because see that X will take well, you all the way down the wrong street. So it's Zaviera. Right. Like mm -hmm. I got to see Zaviera. Yes, Zaviera. Now, before I let you go, one more question for you. What is your favorite flavor of ice cream? Pop tart. <laughs> You're crazy. I'm on this Talenti salt caramel right thing right now. Mm. It's got me bound. It's, it's just, just, you know, I can't manage it. It's, mm. it's a stronghold. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. All right. All right. Salty and sweet, like me. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. God, mm -hmm. God bless you. If I keep on eating, my favorite flavor is going to be chocolate chip, chocolate pound chip, because I'm trying to tell you. Mm. But I'm I, got stop my, I got my quarantine pounds too, so, you know. I I'm going to stop fasting. I'm going to get, I'm gonna get okay. the refrigerator faster. That's fasting. Have a great day, Rev. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Y'all, thank you so much for joining us today. As you can see, the Rev is definitely a handful. And if you have been watching the Rev on USA Network, you know that it is a lot more of that. Okay. So, be sure to tune in if you have not been watching the show. It is an absolutely fantastic show. It's a beautiful black family. And, you know, they have faith, family, foolishness. And let me throw in some shenanigans as well. As you can see, the Rev is so much fun. So we thank him for stopping by today to talk about the show and for cracking me up. Like, I literally have tears in my eyes. And, you know, I, will, I like to crack myself up. And when someone else cracks me up, it's like... I have to try to gather myself a little bit. But thank you all so much for tuning in today. I hope all of you are having a fantastic day. And I just want to let you all know to tune in tomorrow at 1 p.m. because we will be welcoming Mr. Martel Holt from Love and Marriage Huntsville to the Ice Cream Convos podcast. So we thank you all for tuning in. I love you guys. Thank you so much for supporting Ice Cream Convos. I love you and have a great day. Bye. <laughs>